me jog your memory tell me uh, once i think when you came in 2017 when i had just come here uh, for the stardust awards that sonu sood had organized ah, that time with farah khan and all of them yes and uh, yes. then of course uh, we might have met in in bombay when i was working with zoom at that time and right so meet you sakib sakib is good we want to do yeah 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 you all how are you doing i'm doing well and uh, it's it's much better here in terms of everything uh, but uh, we'll just start off the interview so um, yeah firstly welcome to my channel and welcome to radio 4 and uh, we're all been waiting for good content to come in so that you know we can be entertained right sitting right here and don't feel like we're away from home because you guys keep putting such great stuff out there so thank you for that huma thank you uh, so my first question is uh, how did this entire show come together and were you the first choice for the role i have been told i was <laughs> but <laughs> mujhe aisa lagta hai ki i was uh, i got the narration last year when subhash sir and sony live team approached me and it was my first zoom narration usse pehle humko pata nahi tha ki zoom narration hota kya hai to pehli baar hi humne zoom narration kiya aur mujhe bahut achhi lagi script and of course ek complete kahani hai okay about this woman's journey was uneducated illiterate and how she becomes chief minister and then of course her coming of age story so of course i jumped at it and i was very very excited um you know i worked with subhash sir before on jolly lv2 so there was that connection uh, you know and i knew i was in safe hands because also he has a background in like political journalism uh, i never worked with the director before uh, karan sir but he's been an absolute delight to work with and uh, yeah i mean i've been told i was the first choice but um, but i hope like uh, i am also the best choice for this wo to kya aapko show dekh ke samajh aayega nee i think the sh- the way the whatever i have heard about the show and seen uh, i think you are very well cast and aptly cast for the role which is so powerful and also which requires certain sort of gravitas you know which you have and which you've shown in the previous roles that you've done so, so thank you so um my 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 other question is that uh, you guys shot right in the middle of the pandemic because you got your narration during the yes. pandemic and you got it on zoom so how did you manage shooting at that time was it difficult challenging um definitely challenging like i said now between the first lockdown and now again in another lockdown uh, we went whenever things opened up a bit we went and shot in bhopal we went and shot in mumbai in in a week in jammu so yeah i mean i have to credit the whole kangra talkies team and of course sony lift team for like pulling it off it's not been easy uh, yeah. but they managed to make sure that we all were safe there was constant testing all sort of on set protocols were followed the way i look at it of course you know these are difficult times but we cannot let this bog us down we have to move on we have to work we have to earn a livelihood we have to entertain people uh, to mushkil hai but we still have to make the best of what we have so i think this is marani is sort of like a testament to that um so yeah i mean it's been it's been difficult but i think we pulled it off which is the most amazing thing okay a lot of people are saying that you know marani obviously it's based on uh, a bihar chief minister who is a woman and you know we've had rabri devi do that before for real so a lot of people are saying that it's kind of similar and i'm i know you'll have a textbook answer saying nee nee it's just a बिहारी women uh, and chief ministers i mean but then uh, that's not the only uh, you know yeah. thing about rabdi devi there are many other things that define her which have got nothing to do with ashok okay okay but but uh, in the recent past we've seen movies like uh, madam chief minister come in and you know like there are other movies where we've seen very powerful women characters similarly modeled on these kind of uh, roles and tenets of uh womanhood and power, power and all of that so how did you guys make it different from those um 
how did we make it different? I don't know, different or similar. The objective of doing something like Maharani was to tell a very strong female narrative. You know, we always say that sometimes what happens is that the story of the women is also a male narrative. And either you have to pander to a male gaze or it's about like, you know, a male gaze or it's about like, you know, a male gaze or it's about like, you know, uh, fitting into a certain box. Uh, Maharani is actually, she's, she doesn't fit into that world. I think she has her own logic. She has her own reasons for doing things. Um, you know, she is in a male world, but she is, and she's not very educated. She's not stepped outside the boundaries of her home. She's never sat on a plane, never even gone to Patna. But despite that, she's a village mm-hmm. woman who speaks her mind. You know, which, are, which is the case in, in, in a lot of women. Uh, you know, if you have to put a gun on it, if they have to say something, they speak up, you know, and I feel like, right. and even when she comes into the big, bad, so-called world of politics, she has a lot of agency, you know, and she right. uses her native village, rural wisdom onto mm-hmm. uh, modern day sort of uh, situations mm-hmm. and how she navigates that world. Like in the trailer, there's a very beautiful line where, where she's talking to another character, Mishra Ji, played by uh, the lovely actor Pramod. And she says to him, Ki, Are, itte Mardana Sarkar ka mukhya mantri ab humko kahe banati. Mm-hmm. You know, now, ab wo to ek normal tarike se respond kar rahi hai because she's walked into a room and she feels uncomfortable by being possibly the only woman there. But yeah. it also makes a much larger statement about representation right. of women, you know, in our, in our politics, in our parliament, in our, you know. But Rani doesn't have the vocabulary to communicate that, but she can tell you what she's feeling. You know, and the mm-hmm. whole, her whole thing is what I am feeling because I represent a certain strata. It rep- represents most of India. So that is the reality you have to take into acknowledgement if you're talking about true development or true progress or whatever because I come from that place. So that's what I was very fascinated with. You know, because it's a very different way to see things. So I, mm-hmm. I, I, feel, I personally really, really vibe with that. Also, we have this very lopsided understanding that this person is, is not... speaking in english then that person is dumb you know which mm-hmm. is not true people who don't have the vocabulary you know uh, oh, yeah. to communicate their ideas they can be very smart but the i'm sure aap yeah. sabke gharon mein dadiyan ya bhai aur purane zamane ke log hote the aisa nahi ki apni pun ka pura jeevan nikal jata tha they were very smart they lived life they were very wise yeah and very wise you know and they uh, and they didn't uh, have textbook answers to things but they really understood life yeah and i think they were more street smart and they had their ways to you know deal with a very very patriarchal society that they grew up in and also they endured so many things that now people are actually changing and understanding yeah. um, ab- about also women and how women should be portrayed in cinema also um also you know for you uh, to get that accent that you pulled off in the Uh, in in the show uh, how difficult was it or is it because we do have a lot of people who speak like that we've seen them on on screen before was it easy to like this uh, emulate that? easy well usi ke to paise milte hain to the workshops how did you prepare for the the role basically uh, yeah we did workshops we did about two weeks of workshopping read the script back and forth um you know really try to understand the character and of course like i knew working with subhash so wo khud itna acha us accent ke nuances yeah. ko pochte hain to khali upar upar se surface level pe nahi kar sakte so i really had to go really like granular uh, while trying to approach this uh, ab to aise ho gaya ki rani bharti i can do in my sleep you know um, so i am quite comfortable with that although i've never been to bihar i've barely like been to patna once or twice in my life barely for like four or five hours for some event or something so i've never really been there but i do think i have some past life connect because in my first film also i played like a character so, from uh, bihar hinterland or up yes, and bihar so, and so pata hai kuch to connection hai but you know you've switched like at the same time you're also appearing in a Z- zack snyder film and you're doing this two totally poles apart your whole career has been like that actually you've been doing very different kind of films for real like you know not just for saying so especially these two how did you manage to flip out and flip in again into both the movies? i don't know yaar exciting times i guess for a being an actor in today's day and age today you don't have to restrict yourself to either 
theatrical or OTT today. I can do a series. I can do a big action film. I can do a small independent film, which I and you know I can do a regional film. I can do a Hollywood film. I feel like today as an actor, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want to do and not be restricted either by genre or by industry. And I really intend to explore that and expose myself to that because I feel that will really help me grow as a performer. Um, right. You know, I don't want to box myself and be like, "No, I have to do this and I have to go I feel like with the opportunity here to make the most of it. Um, and uh, uh, I mean, I've also been blessed. I've I've worked with some really incredible people in my life, some very talented directors, producers, writers, other co-stars who have pushed my thinking into that direction as well. Because I I feel like I want to be remembered for my body of work. You know, whenever I retire and be like, okay, wow, she did really did do diverse characters. Like for me, when someone long. says we saw you, sorry. That's a long way off retirement. So, in the next year, whenever, in the next year, whenever I retire, I'll be like, okay, you know what? I, she did like really amazing characters. She had like an amazing body of work. Like I want to show my grandchildren. They go, you know, <laughs> have a library of all my films and show them sorry, that. Yeah. And, so, uh, how, sorry. Yeah. No, go on. Go on. No, I was just asking, how did you manage to uh, land the Zack Snyder film? Like, you know, there must be some story behind that. I'm sure. Stories. I was I was in LA. I was there for something else for some other round of meetings. And my agents uh, in the US were like, uh, "Would you like to go in for an audition?" And I hadn't done an audition in a while. Um, I mean, of course, I came. When I came in from Delhi in my first few years in Mumbai. I auditioned for everything that I did, and then now I don't have to audition anymore. So when I was there, I was like, "Keep both salos in Nikia. You know, it'll be fun." So I went and met the casting director and everybody but he was really serious and you know they all had these sheets of paper and they were doing their lines and I was like oh god me so print out bhi likhi nahi aayi so then I went to them and I was very sheepish and I said I'm really sorry I'm not from here I'm doing this for the first time so um you know I hope I don't if I if I do something wrong uh, of how things are done here in terms of yeah. how you guys do things just let me know but yeah. of course they were familiar with my work in Lela which which helped um and i came back uh, i think thursday i went and met them uh, i came back to india on a saturday and monday they called me saying uh, do you want to do the film that was that wow. and you yeah, were back in you you were back by then in india i was back by then i was back by then i was back and then uh, uh, you had forgotten all about it ha matlab abhi abhi आप एक ऑडिशन देखे आए हो किसको पता अभी वो होने वाला है कि नहीं होने वाला आई जस्ट फॉर की नो बी नोज बी आई जस्ट गो हैव सम फन यू नो लेट मी सी हाउ थिंग्स हैपन ओवर हियर हाउ इट्स डन एनीथिंग दैट यू वुड लाइक टू कैरी फ्रॉम देयर कि ये वो लोग ज्यादा अच्छा करते हैं हमारे से प्रोसेस वाइज या यू नो द वर्कफ्लो वाइज अच्छा बुरा तो नहीं बट आई थिंक द फैक्ट दैट यू कैन डू वन प्रोजेक्ट एट अ टाइम एंड गिव दैट ऑल योर कंसंट्रेशन टाइम एनर्जी एफर्ट आई थिंक दैट रियली हेल्प्स इन डूइंग बेटर वर्क अभी हम हम लोग को में आदत क्या हम तीन चार फिल्में साथ साथ करते हैं इवेंट्स भी कर रहे हैं ब्रांड भी कर रहे हैं ये भी कर रहे हैं तो माइंड बहुत स्कैटर्ड रहता है आई फील इफ यू डू वन थिंग इन टाइम इट जस्ट हेल्प्स यू डू इट बेटर इट्स स्टिल अ वे बेटर देन द 90s एंड आई स्पोकन टू सो मेनी एक्ट्रेसेस हु हैव सेड दैट वी यूज्ड टू डू 17 18 फिल्म्स टुगेदर यू नो इन जस्ट हाउ हाउ डू यू इवन रिमेंबर स्नैप एंड स्नैप आउट फ्रॉम वन सेट टू द अदर ओके जस्ट The yeah, thing also, sorry, if, you're doing, if you're doing that kind of work, you can't even change your hairstyle because you're stuck in continuity. So they all end up looking the same. You know how you okay. physically it's not possible. Yeah, it's it's starting. I think. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a good start in India also. Like stars are doing one film at a time or a one show at a time. Uh, also, just mo- moving on a little bit about the whole COVID situation in India, and you've been quite active. Up hundred uh, beds ka ek facility bhi ab bana rahe ho COVID ka De- Delhi me. So I've read a couple of your interviews, and you've said that you know there, there's no point just cribbing on social media. You got to do something. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. is was that the motivating factor for you? And are you like you know also thinking of doing more in this area? Ah, uh, no, absolutely. I think like everybody, I was super anxious and fearful and uh, angry. But there is no point in being that because it doesn't help. But I can cry and I can break things and I can be like this is unfair and it's wrong that so many people are in pain and you know we are not able to live our lives normally. वो आप कर सकते हो पर उससे कुछ होने नहीं वाला. What you was know, the trigger, trigger for you? Yeah. Trigger was I think people around me falling sick. And there was this week I thought the world was coming to an end almost. Like it felt like that because I was like You're everybody. Right. 
yeah like around you is just taken so much pain and i feel like that kind of you know of course at, at a personal level when you hate you're trying to like do something about it and you get drawn and you realize ki at least you know aapke pas kitne advantages hain aap bombay mein rehte ho you know some people you have connections you know you are i'm very very privileged and i'm very aware of the privilege that i have you know but i know so many people uh, don't have that and it's not fair uh, that somebody parent or grandparents or or you know somebody sibling has to suffer like that or i've seen visuals of people like you know being in like uh, inside a car and going from one gurdwara to the other for looking for oxygen or people dying outside hospital uh, uh, hospital gates you know it's it's very very uh, disturbing it's and it's very unfair to aapko lagta hai abhi kya kiya jaye matlab mere ko abhi aap phone pe apne lag ke matlab you can vent and abuse a few people and and then forget about it but i was like one has to do something and see the children as an organization i've been working with in the past and i connected with them and we spoke about various things that we needed to do but of course immediately to do was to save lives which is how the 100 bed covid facility came into uh, you know our thoughts and work has already begun uh, we've collected about 50% of what we need for this facility which is a huge thing it's been not even a month it's been what 15 or days so reaching 50% of our target is actually a really big deal humne already जॉबी whatever it is that you can do for whoever please do it absolutely and thank you so much for being so candid on everything else and uh, all the best i hope to catch your show very soon and also please review do. it please do may 28th sony live very excited uh, please yeah, watch I'm- I'm waiting for Sony to send me a screener if today at all if they can send it. मुझे अभी तक screener नहीं भेजा है तो I'm not surprised they haven't sent it to you so it's okay. Sorry what? I I didn't hear that. That was a joke very bad joke. I hope you send them. I'll tell them. I'll tell them. I'll tell you send them a screener. मैं बोल रही हूँ ना मुझे नहीं भेजा अभी तक तो किसी और को क्या भेजेंगे? मैंने नहीं देखा. अच्छा आपको. Okay so I think they are there on the call listening. आ गया ना? उनका last check आ गया. रखो अपना